What is one thing that instantly makes you think this person has no manners? Standing in the middle of the aisle at a grocery store. Not returning the cart. Edit. Formatting. Coughing or sneezing without covering your mouth. I had a customer in the shop I work in. Who pulled his mask down to cough. People who let their kids run around in a movie theater. Kick the back of your seat repeatedly. And hang on you. Idiots with children. Is why I now only go to the cinema at the 12 or 1am sessions anymore. Last time I went in the evening I had a full family sitting behind me. Three kids making noise. Playing on their phone. Jumping on the seats. Kicking my seat. Fighting each other. Crawling. Etc. I asked the parents if they could keep their children under control and quiet. Since it is a movie and I couldn't even understand the dialogue. And they had the balls to say I was being rude and uneducated. Those philistines. And it's always the same type of people that do this shit. Edit. And to drive the point further. It wasn't even a movie for kids. I'd understand if Finding Nemo was full of kids. And wasn't a quiet room. But a movie for grown ups? Ex movie theater employee here. If that kind of thing happens again. Just go find an usher or a manager. Half of our job is being an asshole deterrent. And it's much more important to the theater that we have the 40 plus non dick people who paid to be there are satisfied than the 3 or 4 assholes. When you offer your time and money to drive someone and they don't thank you for the ride. When you give someone a ride and they leave their empty soda can or coffee cup in your cuff holder. I have bad memory so if that were to ever happen that would probably be because I forgot about it. So I have a rumor to him entirely convinced, has absolutely no manners whatsoever. For context, I live in the barracks, so I have no choice but to live with this guy. I have a million and a half stories about this guy, but I guess he'll start with the basics. Doesn't clean up after himself, and refuses to help clean, even if has a guest in someone else's home. Chain smoke slash vapes in people's cars. Flicks ash out the window but everyone knows that literally will just kick it back into the jeep. Tries to constantly teach people things. And will talk your rear off and basically just dominate the conversation. No listening or allowing for a different perspective. Methodical literally introduced himself to me as the smartest man in any room he plays music and sings in the shower at 4, 5, 6 in the morning. And will take 45 plus minute showers. 20 minutes to sit on the toilet and 25 to have his concert. The last straw for me was when I came home on leave and saw his flashlight sitting out in the common area table. We have stopped inviting him to places. He sits in his room alone playing sparks all day because I'm not responsible for teaching a 21 year old child basic manners. It's not happening. I had the best room at when I was in the barracks. Dude was weird as duck but we both cleaned. Both chipped in on stuff we needed for the room. Used headphones. Was considerate. Never really talked to me. We both would offer the other some food when we ordered something. Neither of us ever really knew the other was even there. It was great. We still never talk sometimes. Inviting everyone in the friend group to an event and excluding just one friend then proceeding to talk about how much fun they're going to have at said event in front of the person that was purposely excluded. In front of everybody. Happened today and thought it was pretty rude. Edit. Thank you for the award. Additional info. This did not happen to me. And second we are not in high school. We are in our late 20s slash early 30s which makes the situation even more upsetting. People who don't use turn signals. Shit drives me crazy. I can't even fully understand why this makes me so angry. I'm a generally calm person. I'm not hot headed at all. But when someone doesn't use a turn signal my blood boils so fast it's insane. I think in my mind I assume. If you can't operate the most basic function of your vehicle mandated by the law. Then you have no business driving at all. I agree. I also can't even fathom not using the turn signal for any reason. Because when you've been driving for long enough it becomes an automatic movement. Like as soon as I think shit I need to turn left my hand turns on the signal. How can you not use it? <laughs> Parents who let their children run rampant anywhere. I've seen parents watch as their kid pops their fingers through every package of meat at the grocery store and do nothing. 
parents who let their kids kick a stranger's shoe or other belongings letting the kids spit on windows and rub it with their hands. Letting them run around the store, playing with anything and everything, and leaving a mess for others to clean. And the parents literally just ignore it. I never understood that. They really are your obligation. Not the store associate who's unlucky enough to be working the shift you happen to stroll in during. Be a parent. Bad kids can turn into shitty people. Some parents think they can just use store or restaurant employees as free babysitting. When I worked at McDonald's, we once had this 5 to 6 year old running around the restaurant outside of the playroom. Not an uncommon occurrence unfortunately. It was really busy that day, so even though I couldn't tell who, I thought she belonged to someone. So we ignored it until she tried to come in the kitchen. So I took her hand and asked her to show me where her parents were. She says mom is at the mall. She left me here to play until she gets back me manager said she was going to call the police and report child abandonment. My shift finished before I could see the resolution. Though. Duck people like this. Parent your own damn kids. I used to work in a toy shop and people thought it was okay to just leave their kids to run around while they went shopping. We had to call security so many times to find the parents because they just wouldn't understand our shop was not a play area. Littering. When I was a kid in the 80s, I was driving with a neighbor and I chucked a piece of trash out the window. She immediately pulled over and made me get out and pick it up. Lesson learned. Man in the southeast this was common until the litter bug campaign came out. I remember as a kid playing near main streets and finding fast food bags littered all along the shoulders. Blasting music on the bus. Absolute twats. Yeah absolutely. I hate those kind of people. No one wants to listen to your shitty music especially on a bus on the way to work or something. People who leave their litter and uneaten food all over fast food restaurant tables and the floor area. Edit. Having read every response to my post, I now clearly understand that social norms differ greatly. Thank you for the insight. And at the movies and sporting events. Why do otherwise polite people think they can just leave their trash behind them at those three places? People who do this usually have the mindset of it's someone's job to clean this up. Same goes for putting shopping carts away. When they walk into an elevator before you have a chance to get off. Same W buses and subways. Some girl did this in a building I was in once and I said you know it's polite to wait for people to get off before you barge on and she just screams I know. Ha. Ah, I was at work and getting off the elevator. This woman tried to walk through me. She said. Oh I'm sorry. Tehi but continued to try and push through. I said. If you're sorry then why are you still trying to push through me? Her expression sunk like this was the first time anyone had ever called her on her bullshit. The guy with her laughed and said. Maybe you should let him out first. And guided her out of the way. Apartment neighbors who slam their doors as hard as they can. Damn. My last apartment had heavy doors that would forcefully close shut on their own. I'd walk in. Forget that the damn door is about slam shut with the power of thunder and sprint back trying to catch it and slow it down. I usually made it. But I know I woke some people up with that thunderstorm of a door when I didn't catch it. Oh god. My current apartment front door is like that. It stresses me out bad as I don't like causing loud noises. I always feel like a failure when I don't slow mine down in time. Edit. I'm already looking into something that can slow the door down. That doesn't piss off my complex management. The stupid door almost hit me in the face while bringing in groceries. When you're having a nice chat with someone and they start saying things that don't seem to make sense to you. Then you realize they just answered a call on their at ash dollar sign percent bluetooth phone ear thingy and are not even talking to you anymore. Duck I've had this happen. Also when I'm telling a story or something and I pause after getting no feedback and I see the person staring at their phone. Every. Ducking. Time. Whenever I talk to my brother he does this. It's so annoying. And it's not because I start talking to him while he's on his phone. It's because he pulls out his phone while I'm talking to him. It pisses me off so much. Hung out with a co-worker once and he threw all his garbage out the window of his car onto the street. 
never hung out with him again. I saw someone throwing trash out the car in front of me. Who does this? Why would anyone think that's okay? I honked and flipped off the driver in front of me. After he threw trash out his window then he threw a McDonald's Coke at my car. People that don't put their weights away at the gym. God this pisses me off so much. Not everyone has the same lifting routine as you chat. I threw my back out pretty badly, and the free weight machines were the only ones that didn't hurt me for some reason. Trying to lift a 20kg weight from heights above your waist with cooked spaghetti for a back is painful. I had to ask someone to help me move weights, so I could use the machine once. So embarrassing. Right? I don't go to the gym, because I'm already strong. There are plates that I can't move. I go to the gym because I'm weak. I'm a middle aged lady with cancer. I can't lift the 45 pound plates. Not right now. Anyway, edit, clarity, and confirmation that I'm a potato with spaghetti arms. People who act mean towards others for apparently no reason. I got this friend who always talks down to younger people, and I'm like you need to gain people's respect. Don't take it for granted. That just makes me think they're a bad person. Not one without manners. I know people who are well mannered and sociable who say or do incredibly mean natured things. I really despise passive aggressive cruelty. I believe it's something people get away with far too easily. On one hand I agree that you should have to earn an elevated level of respect. But everyone also gets a base level of respect to start with. I don't speak at or down to someone just because they're younger or not as informed as I am. That's just rude and inconsiderate. I speak to people the way I would like to be spoken to. If they choose not to extend the same courtesy back, only then will my tone change. Overstaying your welcome or inviting yourself to things. I had a friend who wouldn't take no for an answer. Like get the hint. It's midnight and you've been here all day. Edit. To explain a bit more I'm not talking about someone who just doesn't get hints because they are oblivious. I'm talking about someone who will make excuses and guilt trip their way into staying even after clear reminders that they need to leave soon. Or even just saying to them it's time for them to get out. If you don't get hints that's totally okay as long as you understand when someone asks you to leave. I stand up, yawn and say well you must be tired. I've kept you here too late. I'll let you get home now while getting their coat. If weather appropriate. My friend gets the hint he just ignores it. It'll tell him it's late, and I would like for him to go home. Cue the whining. Eventually I just started meeting up with him at his house, so I could leave when I wanted. When they turn everything into a one-up contest. You think you have it bad? I know a guy who's way worse. Can't be anywhere as bad as this guy I know. Yelling at retail workers. Most recently about wearing masks, or putting hand sanitizer on. It takes little to no effort and people lose their minds over it. Some people just hate being told what to do, or doing the same thing as everyone else. There's people who refuse to drink water, because too many health nuts and doctors told them it's good for you. I had a middle manager type once who would order you to do something at the exact moment he noticed you starting it on your own. It was like he was trying to rob you of your initiative and pass it off as his leadership, and it was one of the most infuriating things ever. I would probably still drink water, though. People who cut their nails on public transportation. Do your grooming at home. I once was on a plane, across the aisle from an uninful regalia, who cut her toenails right there. There are no words. Leaving their rubbish at a fast food restaurant. Most offenders are parents who think it's their day off, or teenagers that have learned this behavior from said parents. People who let their kids watch annoying ass YouTube videos in public places without headphones. Pure trash. Also kids playing trash mobile games with the same annoying tune. When grocery shoppers leave their carts in the middle of the aisle instead of pulling over. I work at a grocery store, and because of COVID we have arrows to point the direction you're supposed to go with your cart. Today an old couple crashed into someone else because they were going to H R wrong way. Today, my U-boat, a large cart for stocking shelves, was in the middle of the aisle, but parallel so people could easily go by, about one to one. 
5 meter each side of my cart, the man and the couple started cussing at me after I politely asked them to follow the arrows once they leave the aisle. He went to grab something from the shelf that was not even close to my U-boat. The man angrily said your cart's in the effing way. Effing stupid idiot. I said please, don't speak that way to me sir and he walked away mumbling stuff under his breath. Called my manager and had him stand up for me. The man talked with my manager and walked away seconds after because he was obviously in the wrong. Like I'm just doing my frickin job. No need to be so vile and rude. I'm 31 years old. I've never seen anyone be rude to people that work at the grocery store. Like I know it happens because I read it all the time on here. I just can't understand how you can be rude to someone doing a job that without them. You don't get to have accessible groceries in a uniform. Clean aisle. On a uniform. Clean shelf. I guess what I'm saying is thank you for doing a thankless job. Hey, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.